What is going on Carnage, my name is Espresso and welcome back to the Carnage Clan Top 5 Clips of the Week. This week we got some absolutely fantastic stuff here for you guys, but before we get too far into it, if you guys enjoy the video, make sure you drop a like down below and of course if you guys want to check out my channel, link is down there in the description. I'm on the road to 60,000 so it helps me out and is of course greatly appreciated, but let's get right into what everybody cares about, the Top 5 Clips. These ones are absolutely fantastic, I had a tough time placing some of these because they were just absolutely incredible, but number 5 is going to start us off with Mako Jr. playing on Terminal and I have no idea how this happens because he's gonna activate his bull charge in a spot where you'd think honestly it's a waste here but running right into a wall instead he's gonna end up pulling a quad feed with his bull charge at the entrance of the cockpit of the plane what a start here to this week in this top five so number four is gonna go to i'm bxn back at it and killing it here again with the kendall 44 in some hardcore for this one he's gonna make it look incredibly easy not taking much damage and still managing to pick up two quad feeds and a total of 10 kills with a single pistol running around the enemy team's spawn, and that is pretty slick if you ask me. I like this one a lot here. Number three, though, is gonna go to Walid, bringing us another bull charge clip. This one's just gonna be a little bit more of something else here. Getting a kill to start it off with his R3K, he's gonna end up popping into his bull charge, and he's gonna pick up two initially, and then grab a quad feed. So a total of six kills with the bull charge, seven if you wanna throw in the R3K kill as well. Then he's gonna give us a little extra something here to add onto the clip, and he gets a triple with his Trinity Rockets after he's dead. So, pretty sweet turn of events here if you ask me here with this one. But number two, this one's gonna rock your socks. This one goes through Satric, and he's gonna be taking number two with this one, and it's a beauty. You know I don't know trick shots that much, but I don't have a clue how you could even focus or aim with all the twitching that goes along with this one, let alone with the rewind as well in it. Simply on top of all this and just putting it all together, plain and simple, it's a nasty shot and definitely in slow motion, oh, it's pretty, it's pretty here. So number one here, taking the crown this week, this is gonna be a quick one, and it's one of the first seven man on screens that I've seen in Infinite Warfare thus far. This one goes to Dixon, who may have gotten the world's fastest kill chain as well to date in this game, but regardless, it's so pretty. They all funnel out of the lobby on Genesis, and he pulls the seven man on screen off, only for a split second, but it is there and it's definitely a beauty. So that's gonna wrap up this top five here with this week. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. That said, if you guys did, make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, if you guys wanna submit your clips for a chance to be featured in next week's top five or any other top five for that matter, make sure you send your clips to carnageclan5 at hotmail.com. Of course, if you guys wanna check out my channel, link is down there in the description below. Greatly does help me out on the road to 60,000, but it's completely optional. If you guys wanna stick around on the channel here, make sure you do so. Click subscribe on Carnage's channel as well. We get some really cool stuff you guys definitely will not wanna miss. So. Thank you dudes so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Mine has been Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.